A mom picked up a few items at Walmart, then took her son into the bathroom and closed the doors. Minutes later, employees were rushing to the restroom as they heard the blood-curdling screams. That's when, to their horror, they saw what the woman was doing. Jeanine Sherilyn Isom of Salt Lake City was shopping with her sons at a Walmart in Cedar Hills, Utah, where she purchased hand sanitizer and a pair of needle-nose pliers. Cashiers didn't think twice when the mom walked into the store and bought the two simple items. She put the bottle of hand sanitizer and the pair of needle-nose pliers on the belt, paid for her purchase, and walked away with her bag in hand. Instead of exiting the store with her items, she took them, along with her seven-year-old little boy, into the public bathroom at the store, where she proceeded to torture her son in an unbelievably traumatic way. As his older brother waited outside the restroom, he was forced to listen to the screams of his younger sibling as their mother enacted her heinous form of abuse right out in the open. After nearby staff heard the screams coming from the public bathroom, they walked in on a scene that sounds like something straight out of a horror film. Both the Walmart employee and the older child ran into the restroom to see the mother extracting two of the younger boy's teeth with the pliers she had just purchased, Good For Utah reported. After removing the boy from the bathroom and getting him away from his abusive mother, the cops were called and the 47-year-old woman was arrested and charged with child abuse and a second-degree felony for intentionally or knowingly inflicting serious physical injury upon a child. Police added that the incident was child abuse in its purest form, according to AOL. She proceeded to use the needle nose pliers to extract both teeth, both of his upper front teeth and his mouth. American Fork Police Sergeant Cameron Paul explained, relaying the horrific ordeal the innocent child was put through. When questioned, Isom told officers that the teeth were loose and infected, according to the Miami Herald. However, that wasn't the case at all. Court documents reveal that the cruel mother didn't use any kind of anesthesia for the amateur and impromptu dental procedure. What's more, the description provided by the police indicate that the makeshift surgery had to be extremely painful. When she proceeded to extract them, they didn't come out in one whole piece. There were multiple pieces, Sergeant Paul added, so that illustrates that they were still very attached to this child's mouth. The child was later taken to a dentist who confirmed that the teeth did not need to be pulled, so one can only imagine the extreme agony this caused the seven-year-old boy, and it was all at the hands of his mother, the one person a child should be able to trust not to harm them. Sadly, Child abuse is one of the most horrific realities in our society, but abusive parents have to be the most disgusting offenders. What's worse about this case is how the torture was performed so publicly. One shudders to think if this is what this mom would do to her child in a place where she was easily caught, what were her children subjected to behind closed doors? Most abusers go to extreme lengths to conceal their crimes and the mistreat of young children, but this woman was brazen, torturing her child right out in the open. She proves there are monsters among us. And worse, some children call those monsters mom.